Now that we've finished all this tin work and all this tub work, we're going to run back through the video and we're going to give you a step-by-step process of what it took to build these things. In all fairness, it's probably two weeks in this. It was a lot of work. Two guys, two weeks. Let's have a look at where we started and where we finished. All right, guys, so just to recap on what we're doing with the car, we've dragged my old Turb, which is a 51 Chevy fleet line, out of the barn. Been in hibernation for about three years. Got this stupid idea, and I've watched way too many YouTube videos about drag week and racing in the States. So we're going to turn this car into a drag and drive car and take it to drag week 2023. So one of the things on the list is wheel tubs. So we're going to walk you through us cutting up this back end of this car and building our own wheel tubs in house. House. Just me and a mate, small shop, and we're gonna have a crack. Yeah. Right, so we probably could have bought a set of wheel tubs and made life easy for ourselves, but we decided to have a crack at it on our own and build our own tubs. So we took some measurements, obviously, of the, the, the original tubs. They needed to be cosmetically right as well, so we had to modify them a little bit. So plasma torch out, drew some lines out, cut the plates out. Um, we're going to throw the sheet metal through the bead roller, you know, just put some lines in it just to strengthen up the tubs. A lot more work than we first anticipated. We kind of figured we'd get a set of tubs done the weekend, but in all fairness, the first tub's taken us about four days to get it right. So now we've got the uh, the end plates cut out, um, we're going to throw this thing through the bead roller and put some strength in it. Anyone that's used one of these knows that they're not the easiest things in the world to use. This is just a cheap mechanical one that we've picked up. It's not pneumatic or anything, but we kind of figured as long as you throw a you know, fair, fair bit of WD on it just to lubricate it and make things slide easy. Um, and as they say, you know, um, slow and steady wins the race. Uh, really happy with the outcome. We kind of figured that we'd go through a couple of pieces of sheet first to get it right, but we got it done the first time. I don't think it needs any more. Bad for a couple of amateurs, I reckon. Yeah, not bad at all. Run through the guts. Quite happy with that for a, what? An hour's worth of work, hour and a half's worth of work. Right, so once we've got the tub kind of sitting where we need it to be, um, we didn't just want to weld the tub directly into the car. So we decided to um, fold up some angle out of some sheet metal and shrink and stretch, you know, just some sort of finishing pieces around the outside. So we've got our little joggling tool out here, which punches holes in the material. Once we've got all this fitted in place, we can just plug weld through those holes um, straight to the, the body of the car and also to the tub. So. Uh, not bad for a couple of hacks. Um, I, th I think it turned out pretty good, to be quite fair. Wheel tub city, bitches. <clears throat> so, I can come around and wheel that one, can't I? Yeah, Right, so now we've got one tub almost complete. We just need to roll another piece of angle to, to fit on the inside of the car. We want another little uh, return edge on the inside of the wheel tub to the body.
Right, so while Jim gets this trim piece uh, welded in and sealed up on the uh, on the driver's side, I'm going to crack on with the passenger side wheel tub, get it all cut out and replicate uh, a new tub for this side. Right, so once we've got those tubs welded back in the car, Jim's made up some templates. He's going to start to put some uh, sheet metal and some strength back into the wheel tubs and tie them to the body shell. Starting to put some strength back in those tubs and the, all the seat bracketry and panel work. I'm gonna roll some, roll some lines in there, step them right up. Make a template for the other side, weld them both in and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Right, so obviously we had to cut the factory spare wheel well out of the car for the suspension and the wheel tubs. So we have to make a little filler piece to, to cover that hole up. So we finally got all this tin work done for the wheel tubs. Mammoth job. Yeah, we just gotta, you know, knock it all back and paint it all. To fit that 11 and a half inch tire under there, we ended up, you know, modifying the chassis rail, taking some meat out of that. Got them all in, got them all under. You know, the rear end that we put in the car was, I think, five inches shorter either side. So we had 10 inches overall from the standard length, nine inch that we had in there. We still need to, the, the, the slicks, kissing the inside of the rail. So I have a set of spacers over there that are inch and a quarter. <clears throat> so I'm gonna throw them in the lathe and I'm gonna spin them down to about half inch. And then we're still gonna have to roll the inside of the um, the quarter panel just to try and, because there's about a 10 mil lip there and we're just gonna try and fold that back up on itself. It's all close, but it's, you know, it's almost millimeter perfect really, which is, which is nice. So yeah, got all the tubs in, got some new strengthening plates and everything in there, put some braces on the tubs back to the you know, the tops of the seats where the sheet metal is. Had a wheel hole here for the spare tyre, so cut it out, just put a decent plate over the top of it. Didn't go, didn't go crazy. Just got it all sealed up. It's obviously Christmas in a couple of days, so the car's gonna go to Wayne at his shop for the cage. So um, we kind of feel like we're pretty much there for Wayne now, which is nice. We just have to get the car rolling. We're gonna have to make up a, a strut for the front. If you have a look over here, we're working out Working that trying to work out ride height now for the front end. We've mocked that front tire up just kind of where we want it, but I think it's, it's a little bit lower. It's probably too low. I don't know if we're going to get the lift out of that that, that that we need, so we may have to come up a little bit higher because we want that car to squat and pull up at the front. So I think it's got quite a bit of work to do from where it's sitting now to where it needs to be to lift that front. So it may end up being about two inches taller than that, but what we're going to do is we're just going to make up a solid shock um, just out of a piece of pipe just to bolt it in so we can move the car around and get it to Wayne. Just gonna take some measurements of the um, of the ride height and where we want it, um, send the rear measurements over as well to Viking in the States and they're gonna make us our lovely coilovers and our adjustable, um, adjustable shocks. They're gonna be double adjustable, so they should work really well. I hope so, because they're costing about 1,500 quid. Um, so hopefully we should have them back end of January maybe, beginning of Feb. And then the suspension set, the suspension's done. We can move on to the on to the next thing. We've just ordered a new fuel pump for it. We've got a 2000 horsepower MagnaFlow 500 pump for it, billet pump for it. And we've ordered a painless wiring system for it, um, which bolts to the cage with all your switches on the top. So if you can see in the back end, where the tie is sitting in relation to the, to the wheel arch, it favors the front side. So we've bought a set of adjustable billet blocks so that we can pull that tire back Basically that block, the pin, the bottom pin stays where it is and the top pin's adjustable. So we're gonna pull that tire back about an inch and a quarter just so it sits perfect inside the wheel arch. So we're waiting on those. As soon as they turn up, we can throw the uh, ear bolts on and get, the, get the, the back end buttoned up. And then all we need to do is put a new set of gears in it. So as we said earlier, 
you know, we've stuffed some pretty big rubber under this. It's still nicking the inside of the chassis rail as you turn the wheel, you can hear it squeaking. So we're going to run a half inch spacer on the inside. The problem we have is, because these wheel arches aren't, you know, a full radius because they're cut so low slung, it makes that tyre quite difficult to get on and off because it's got three inch, you know, heavy duty wheel studs in it. So, as we said, we're going to roll that lip on the inside with that little roller. Once we get to the track, because we're running like a bias slick, we're going to have to put street tyres on it. <clears throat> and we don't want to be pulling the pins out of the back of the leaf springs to lower that down to get the wheel on and off. So what we thought last, no last night is if we can't get that wheel on and off as, easy, as quick and as easy as we'd like, what we're going to do is we're going to split this quarter panel straight down there through the bottom of that tail light. And if you come around here, <clears throat> we're going to put a relief cut straight through here, you know, up to here somewhere, <clears throat> pump that quarter panel out, maybe like an inch, and then put some inlays, you know, put some new metal in the front and the back and weld it back up. So we've just pulled that quarter panel out enough. And if we can get an inch there, I think that, that you know, the wheel and tire will come off really easily. So it's not something we wanted to do, but at the end of the day, it's just a small cut, couple of pieces of plate. We're going to paint these quarters anyway because as you can see when we cut those wheel tubs out, the original ones with the, with the plasma cutter, it's heated up the paint there a little bit. So, so we'll just get the DA out, that paint off, square it all up, blow the rear guards in and then just put a clear coat over it. So you know lots of hurdles along the way but we've overcome them all. So suspension <clears throat> and rear end is pretty much done.